In January of 2025, Microsoft Clarity announced that their integration with Google Ads is more widely available. This gives advertisers a better view on behavioral analytics down to the campaign level. So in this video, we will show you how to integrate Microsoft Clarity with Google Ads and then show you a few examples of what you can see to better improve your landing pages. There are two ways that you can integrate Microsoft Clarity with Google Ads. And the first way to set it up is through Google Ads. To link any third-party channel with Google, you need to first head to Tools and then go to Data Manager. Here we see all of our currently connected products, but of course we want to connect a new one. So let's go to the blue Connect Product button. And since it's new and not that common, it's not one of the first recommended ones. So all we have to do is just search for it. No, we don't want the CRM, we want Microsoft Clarity. But for many of you, this is where you may get hung up. Because if you look at the fine print, you must have Zapier in order to sync it this way. See if I try, choose what I want to sync the data for, both conversions and audiences. Understand, everything is okay. I'd click continue. And here's where the Zap would need to be linked. We don't have a Zapier account. So if you're in this same scenario and you don't have Zapier, you will want to link directly through Microsoft Clarity. So we're in our Clarity account. We already have Clarity installed on our website. Not really here to focus on that setup. So for us, we can go to settings and there we see in the left-hand navigation at the very bottom, integrations. And now we can integrate with Google Ads. So if I click connect now, it's gonna pop up all the Google accounts I'm logged into. I'm gonna choose the right one. Of course, we want to continue. And since this email is tied to an account that we have access to for other clients, I have to choose the right one and then we can link to Google Ads. Okay, there it's connected. Now I know you're probably saying, Joe, why don't you just start here? I get it, this is the easier one, but if you're already paying and using Zapier, I wanted to show that route too. So one clarification now that we have this set up is that Clarity cannot retroactively record interactions from your Google Ads campaigns, even if you already had Clarity on your website. Without the Google Ads information coming in, there's no way to really have that one-to-one -one connection of which actions were performed by a Google Ads user. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit and depending on how much traffic you get, build up a good amount of recordings, and then you can come back within Clarity and review certain information. Since Michelle and I aren't running Google Ads, we're gonna have to look at a client account. And I'm telling you right now, a good amount of it is gonna have to be blurred out because we can't show you who it is, but we can at least show you what you can look at. So let's check it out. Now, as I open up this Clarity account for one client, we are on the main dashboard section. And there are a handful of different views that you can look at if you wanna look just at Google Ads information. Because right now, we're looking at the entire website, all sources, all mediums, every session within the last 30 days. We see the section I'm highlighting right here. This section is looking purely at Google Ads campaign information. This particular account only has one active campaign. It's a smaller one, but within the past 30 days, there's been 24 recorded sessions, but Clarity hasn't been integrated with Google Ads for the full 30 days. So one way I could view information is to view all campaign data. Here, all of the campaigns would be listed. Again, this account only has one. I'm not sure why Microsoft did this, but in the main dashboard, I was looking at the past 30 days, but they changed it to the past three days. Probably more helpful to larger accounts with much more traffic. We see in this view, there are six main columns by default, sessions, impressions, click the rate, CPC, conversion rate, and cost per acquisition. But if I click on the manage columns button, you can see there's a lot more that we can add pretty basic metrics that you can review within Google Ads as well. However, let's say you add conversions. You're seeing a lot of conversions come through. You may wanna understand the user behavior of those converting users. So there's a few things that you can look at. First, there's this little flame icon. Here it's gonna show you the landing pages for that particular campaign. Up above here, we are filtered just by the one campaign. And then we could view the heat map for the landing page that we're using for this campaign. I understand most of this is gonna be blurred out couple things here. By default, they had me go back to the last three days again, and they also defaulted to mobile. I had to change the date, switch it to desktop because we are running this campaign on desktop only. But as I scroll within this page, we kind of get an understanding of how many people are making it to a certain section. And as I unblur part of this, Clarity is showing me the average fold of our landing page. So as I blur it again and just keep scrolling, they do give certain percentage pop-ups the lower you go to the page and the rainbow colors that you can see in the guide on the bottom, the more we get closer to blue, the less popular it is. So if there's any landing pages not converting, maybe use this as a proof to your boss, or your client saying, well, vast majority of people aren't even seeing the important information because almost all of them are only going to this red section and we'd be able to see that. Now going back to a different view, we looked at the heat map. 
This time if I click on the video icon, again, I was forced to change the date. I have it filtered by the highest time duration. But if I click on one of the video squares, I can then click play and I apologize that it's all blurred out, but then we can actually see the full page interaction that the users performed for their session on our landing page. I'm gonna pause it. Now, in this case, it was blurred out. You couldn't see it. The user quickly scrolled through our landing page, briefly looked at everything, and then clicked on a site link at the very bottom that sent users back to the main website. Now, this whole session is 23 minutes. The person was definitely learning more information, but they also got distracted it didn't complete a main conversion action on the site. Maybe with some event-based remarketing, I can get back in front of that user based on actions that they performed on the site. But I would need a significant amount of those actions to happen to even build an audience. But just going through these sessions gives me a better idea of what users are doing once they get on our landing page or website, see what they're looking at, what they're clicking on, and can I use that information to better improve my landing pages? Now, one thing that you see over here off to the side is we get country, what device they're on, what browser they're using. So while it doesn't apply to this client since they're only using desktop, look at user behaviors between devices. Maybe you only have to make changes on mobile. If you don't focus too much on your location reports within Google Ads, maybe you find out that because Google's location targeting settings aren't exact, users from places outside of your location targeting could be sneaking in. Give you more ideas for location exclusions to add. And then you could share these recordings with users, save it if it's something you wanna come back to later, or use some AI tools to generate session insights. Some of them are basic, things I could have caught just by watching the video itself, but certain bullet points at the end could be helpful. It doesn't hurt to review these notes. Okay, if I head back to the main page, we're back at the main dashboard, looking at everything. I told you there were a few different views where you can look at just the Google Ads information. We just reviewed everything within this panel. Another way that you can filter just by Google Ads information is go to your dashboards. So you're looking at all of Clarity. You can click on just advertising. And here we get to the same view as we saw before. Go back up, change it to Clarity again. And next, you can go to Filters, head down to Traffic. Here we see Google Ad Campaign. And if you go, you can select each individual campaign. So I'll just select the one campaign we have, click Apply. And now, besides just this one panel, the entire dashboard is now focused just on that one Google Ad Campaign. So I could see there's some conversions down here, new versus returning users average scroll depth, all of that. Here we see the watch list. Remember the star on the video I was watching? Those would be saved here. And then I could just go and look at all the metrics for just this particular Google Ad campaign. So that's how easy it is to sync Microsoft Clarity with Google Ads. I honestly don't think I said it earlier in the video, but Clarity is free. You can free user behavior information that could better help you understand how these visitors from your ads are engaging with your landing pages. Hopefully it gives you some clear information on how you can improve those pages to focus more on a quality user or maybe an engaged user, but also helps your goals by driving more conversions. If you have any other questions on how to integrate the two and what information you can look at in Microsoft Clarity, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.